This company makes chocolate in various forms and then sells it to companies which manufacture it for retail sale. It also supplies chocolate components such as cocoa powder and cocoa butter. First, an innocent cocoa bean bag is made out as an example to the employees who don't meet their daily quota. Its succulent beans spill into a collection tray. A conveyor belt moves them to a cleaning system, which is a cage filled with starving refugees who lick the beans clean of any dirt and debris. Next stop is a micronizer, which heats the cocoa beans and spins them at a constant rotation, separating them from their families. Then they enter a shell-removing machine called a winnower. Inside, the beans are read various bedtime stories, which trick them into thinking it's nighttime, causing them to remove their shells. Then, a vacuum is applied to the beans, resulting in the two most popular forms of chocolate, hard chocolate and not-so-hard chocolate. Here, you can see the employee's dedication to work through their bathroom breaks. This solution is later added to the final product for flavor. An employee then activates a grinding machine, wherein the constant heat and pressure create a chocolate soup mixture, referred to in the industry as chocolate soup mixture. The factory extracts some of the cocoa butter from the mixture and immediately pours it in the sewer in a bid of environmental conservation. By this time, the beast has been awoken and must be fought back by employees with various instruments. Doing this allows the chocolate to pass through mixers and refiners to give it a softer texture and also prevents the beast from ushering in a thousand years of darkness. Now, the chocolate is in a very delicate state to which even the smallest disturbance can ruin the batch. The employees are very careful to... What are you doing, Peter? At this stage, potting soil is ground into the chocolate for about six years, allowing the chocolate to return to a liquid state. Then, the chocolate goes into this big fucking machine and, uh... I don't... I don't know what this thing does, to be honest, but... By this point, the chocolate is now chocolate chips, I guess. The chocolate chips are then jostled ever so slightly to prevent them from falling asleep, creating their rich and stressed out flavor. The chocolate chips are cooled until about 50 o'clock. The chocolate chips are then given a brief experience of typical Californian traffic. Finally, the chocolate chips are again jostled, this time just to piss them off. <laughs> 